guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's a bit different from my usual vlogs because for today, we're going to talk about online businesses. Since we're in this new norm, we are all putting our businesses online. Just simply having a Facebook page won't be enough since we can stay online all the time. And we're surely miss opportunities in customers' inquiries when we're awake. If you're like me would like to step up an online business, then this video is for you. So here's where Kaujau comes in. So what is Kaujau? Kaujau is an e-commerce platform or basically your all-in-one place to set up, operate, and automate your online business. Here, even you're away, you can easily set replies, exchange information, and deal with your business. It's basically having an assistant that will do all the work for you when you are away or doing something else. Interesting, right? You should be the boss of your own business. So I'll go ahead and straight to the point as you might think you will pay for their awesome services. No worries because Kaujau is for free. You heard it right. Kaujau is for free. Setting up your web page is as easy as 1, 2, 3. No need to code, no need to set up buttons. Kaujau have it all prepared for you. So I prepared a quick video tutorial on how to register, how to set up, and how to finish up your very own online business. So let's begin a quick run on how Kaujau works. So step one, how to register. First, type kaujau.com on your browser search. And then click get started and sign up using your facebook account or your google account so for me i'm gonna log in with my facebook account continue and then click continue log in with facebook choose the page that you want to connect with your kaujau account you can also select add and link another facebook page if you have multiple businesses or facebook page that you'd like to manage using kaujau so for this one I'll select my Facebook page for my Moodle finds. Then click next and click get started. As you can see, I'm able to link my Facebook page here. The Facebook and Messenger icons are colorized, which indicates that you have successfully connected them. The grade icon means that you have not connected them yet. You can, you can click the grade out icons if you'd like to link other social media accounts. If you have multiple Facebook pages, you can link it here. And then it will appear here on the second box. Now let's click manage. Then you'll be redirected to the shop setup. Step two, how to set up the website. After selecting the page that you'd like to manage or work on, you'll be redirected here in the shop setup. This is where you can manage and set up all the details that you need for your website. Select the store name that you'd like, but by default, it's auto-populated as I already have a Facebook page name. You can also change it depends on your preference. On the online store link, this will be your website address in the Kaujau. I'll put my Facebook page name here so that the link of my Kaujau web website can easily be recognized. So as you can see, I've already put my Shopee page name here, Aesthetics Shopee Finds. On the description box, you can just put whatever you want. For example, on the right side, you can check or uncheck this checkbox if you'd like the customer to buy your products on your website or not. Depends on the nature of your business. So for me, I will check it and allow the customer to buy by website and messenger. After that, scroll down for the store info. Here you can add the link of your website or page. I'll be putting my Facebook page link here. So for the phone number and cont other contact information, this is optional. But I prepare to be contacted online on my page, so I'll leave them blank. But for example, let's put some contact number. And then other contact information here. So let's proceed to the payment section. Just scroll down. Here you can put the details on how you'd like the payments to be received. If you have a QR code from Gcash or online bank, you can also upload it here in this box in the right side. So you will see this camera sign here. You can put some uh, QR code. So for the payment instruction, you can just put, for example, and now we're done with the payment section. Let's proceed to the shipping setup. On this section, you can select and set up your shipping method if your business have products or goods to be shipped out. If your business offers services like repairs or personal interaction is needed, you can just leave this as it is. So they already have option here like pay for all orders, fixed flat rate, amount-based rate, 
weight base rate and quantity base rate. So if you want free for all orders, you can select this. Just a heads up, Kaujaw won't get a courier from you. You'll be the one to set up a par partnership with your Shopee seller. You can look in your shipping rates and denominations on the options provided. So now we're done with the shop setup. Let's proceed to online store. Here you can select your team and prepared color to personalize your website. But since we're on a basic plan, the basic team is applied by default. You can already view your personalized website link here. Then you can click view your shop to view how your website will look like. So this is what your website will look like. As you can see, it's almost black since we haven't added any item yet. You can also see on the bottom right, the automated chat support, which we'll also set up later. And here, as you can see, you can go ahead and add the items or listings in your store, which we'll discuss later on. Let's go now on the auto-reply section. So in the inbox setup, here you can start by selecting your opening hours and days. So for Monday to Friday, you can also check um, open for 24 hours. And so here on the customize away message, you can, for example, put... So here on the reply button on Messenger and Instagram, for example, you can add item list or connect with Facebook or Instagram and then save. Welcome message and quick replies buttons. So here, you can type in the welcome message that you'd like to send to your customers. As you can see, there's already a suggested or sample welcome message. Putting this symbol will automatically pick up your customer's first name on Messenger. So for example, hi and their name. Welcome to Aesthetic Shopify's Moodle links. And you can also add photos here. So there's an option as well here wherein you can show items on your shop. This will appear alongside the welcome or away message. We can add reply buttons as well where you can customize what quick information would you like to display. For me, this is more useful to be an FAQ button so that customers can get a quick know-how on the most common questions that they might ask. For example, for example, we offer COD. And for the auto reply button response message, you can add here or type. You can type, yes, we offer COD via Lalamove, Grab, and Talk Talk. And also add more reply button. So moving on to persistent menu, you can see here how will it appear on the customer's end. You can add your preferred selections. And on the drop down, on the right, you can select what's the button going to do. For example, we'll put in here items. So you can quickly show the items that you offer on your page. And we will select the item list since that's what we want this bo button to do. There's a message here that appears because we haven't added any item yet. We'll discuss that later on. You can also add more here. It depends on you. So we're now on the last part of, of this section is where you can select if you'd like to respond to customers or acts. Just click on the settings and you can set up which reaction would you like to respond. For example, um, hard react and so on. You can also enable or disable the get started button. You can click the example button as well to give you a quick preview on what these sections do. For example, this is what it looks like. So now let's proceed to comment replies. Here you can customize your page's response if you'd like to reply, react, or interact on what the customers or page visitors are commenting. Everything here is pretty much self-explanatory as well. You can always click example button to give you a quick preview on what a particular section does. So for the default comment reply, you can select example and then you will see the example here. So for example, to default comment reply, you can just click settings and then type also add more response here so it depends on you so for the default private reply you can also click the settings and you can add whatever you want to add or type whatever you want so here is an example this is what it looks like respond to instagram mention so you can also quick reply on the instagram mention you can click here and then example here so now let's proceed to keyword replies this is what I like about Kaujau. The way you set up and personalize your website is not complicated. It's user-friendly and almost everything is self-explanatory. Thanks to their quick and easy setup that are easy to understand and follow through. Here you can customize your responses based on keywords, common keywords like discount, where are you located, proof of transactions, and more depends on your preference. For example, let's put up a keyword discount. Then on response, we'll type in all our items are on 20% early per months off. 
Or here you can decide if you don't want to reply to lengthy messages. You can also decide if you'd like this response to be commented by turning on comment reply and privately reply to comment. You can add multiple keywords like voucher, location, proof of payments, and more. Click Save New Keyword. You can add another set of keywords with a specific response that you'd like to set. So on the hide comments, you can also filter out comments that you'd like to be hidden based on keywords. So profanity words and other offensive words can be added here so that it will be automatically filtered out. So now let's proceed to post replies. So here you can set a certain reply per post on your page. So if you have multiple posts that needs different replies based on the content of each post, this feature is for you. As you can see, the posts available on my Facebook page are here. I can then set what I would want my page to react or to interact to page visitors or customers on each post. For example, let's put in some responses on this post from my page. All right, we'll turn on comment, reply, and privately and privately reply to a comment so that our page will respond to a personalized message or comment. So for the comment reply, we can type, or for example, thanks for checking this item. What do you think of this aesthetic find? Let us know. We can also copy and paste here this comment reply to be commented privately. You can also turn on keyword replies and set keywords and particular responses just like what we did earlier. So this is the available post on my web page or on my Facebook page. And now let's proceed to survey and quiz. For a quiz, here you can customize and personalize your survey or quiz. This is optional and I can say that it's much better if you'll have a survey on your Facebook page so that you can hear feedbacks and points of improvement from other people. So for a quiz, you can set multiple questionnaire if you need proving on what the customer's needs. This is best for businesses that offer services or for items that require a certain condition or traits so that you can recommend the right product. So just click the example and you will see what it looks like. So now we're here on the messenger shortcuts. For the shortcut key, it's setting up a macro or personalized code for you so, don't need, so you don't need to type long messages every time. For the best example are terms and conditions. So instead of typing your terms and conditions every time, you can just set a shortcut key for it. Let's put in PNC and this will trigger this message. And for the full message, this is what it looks like. Terms and conditions, down payments are non recommendable etc. So you can save it. And then you can also add more shortcut key. So now let's proceed to notification. On this section, you can select if you'd like to get notified about the activities on your website. For example, get new inbox messages, new comments, and new orders. So you will be notified by this section. Now we're done setting up the basic mechanics of your online store, we'll go ahead and add your first item. So step 3, how to add items. Now, as you can see earlier, there's an add item button on the online store section in the shop menu. You can click that one or you can click items on the menu. Either way, it will be the same, so don't get yourself confused about it. If you go there, you'll be prompted by a blank section and a button that says new item. This pop-up will appear. It allows you to add an item on your website. You can upload a picture, add a website page link here, add the price details, weight, item code, and descriptions. Like these two fields, wherein you can put color, size, or other option selection based on your products. You can also tick one of these buttons to display it as ready to deliver or this item is re ready to pre-order. So you can check it here. So now let's proceed to orders. On this section, you can add and monitor the orders that you have on your website or page. You can click create new order and pop up like this will appear. So in this side, you will see the sender's details. On the right side, you will see the receiver's name or details. This is of course when you have an order already. I love how Kaojo simplified this and displayed the order state in a user-friendly and easy to understand way. Everything is simple and quick to follow. So in order form, you have the option to track where this orders came from. As you can see, when I click the drop down, it's able to show up the various channels where the order might came from. This is very helpful because you can monitor where most of your orders come in. You can also add slip for order slip or online transaction receipt, payment status, if paid or unpaid. You can also search for existing customer if he or she have a new order. It's now blank since we haven't added up an order yet. So in the product list, you can add product and clicking it will let you select the items that you created on your website. Once you have an item added, it will appear here on a pop-up after clicking on the product. So as you can see, your cart is empty. Last part would be the additional notes and relevant shipping details. You can select cash on delivery, 
fulfilled, fulfilled tracking number or pending, it depends on you. And you will see how much is the shipping fee here and the amount total. And then click save. Now let's proceed to broadcast. This is where you can follow customers who message you if you have an ongoing giveaway promo, event, or any activities that might address them. The broadcast will send a message on all customers who sent a message on your website or page. But please note that the customers who will receive your broadcast are the customers who message you after your link, Kaujao. Messages that are sent before using Kaujao won't be able to receive broadcast since Kaujao has no history on them. So this is how it looks like. Then you can add messages here to broadcast and save. So now, last but not the least, the Facebook ads. If you're a growing business or would like to reach more people, you can check Facebook ads. If your page has a Facebook ads feature, you need to link it here so that you can also monitor it using Gaojiao. As you can see, everything under this section is pretty much black because it needs to have the Facebook ad activated and link. But this is just optional though. Your website will still work as you'd like without this. Easy, isn't it? Everything else is just click, type, and save. You're able to build your website or Facebook page without complicated coding, without hassle, and for free. You don't need to be a web developer to start building your very own e-commerce or web page or online web page. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching on how to create your own Kaujao account. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below kung ano pa yung mga katanungan nyo about this Kaujao account. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye! See you on my next vlog!